Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop for another 10 minutes of mold making action. Alright people, we're trucking now. Okay, I got all my parts waxed, got them all cleaned up, went over all my clayed up edges, and uh, we are ready for some part all. Okay, this is just my part all number 10. downtime I'm gonna get my part of my part planes made for that that hatch back there and that's it and all my parts so you spray it on real thin like that the stuff dries fast get in too big a hurry with that part off, you'll end up washing it all back off. You know, which ain't a disaster, you just take a sponge and wash it off. So don't really gas it out with you. 
will still open some doors. basically want to do that till it looks shiny you know after you get a couple three mist coats like that you can spray it a little bit heavier but not much man it just don't take that much it's not paint you know you're not trying to cover nothing it's uh if you, if you spray it until you can see it you you, you spray too much you know, and it'll fish eye on you. And it don't look like it at the time. It looks all right, but then you walk away for a minute, and you come back, and it starts getting that stuff. Your first coat's wet again, you know, and then it just fish eyes. You know, I don't know. It's just someone told me that part all makes a or a, part all makes a wax that don't tend to fish eye, but. You still gotta, you can't spray that uh, mold release real heavy. You just can't do it. I don't care what kind of wax you use. If, uh, you know, Burr, man, it's cold out there. three or four minutes but it's dry. You just gotta make sure you get all your nooks and trannies. You know. Without overdoing it. The boy it's easy to do when you're trying to get in here and stuff and back in there. You know, it's real easy to get spray too much. See now I'm, I'm holding the trigger. See now I'm holding the trigger. I Good job.